Hello from Cookbook Divas, this is Carrie, and today I thought it would be fun to look through this Japanese restaurant cookbook, Kaiseki. Hope I said that right. It's a restaurant in Kyoto, and the author is Yoshihiro Murata, with a foreword by some famous people, including Nobu. Mm -hmm. So this came out back in 2013. I borrowed it from the library. It's very heavy, so I'm trying not to drop it, especially because it doesn't belong to me. Starts off with beautiful cherry blossom photography. And you can't see it, but I actually have cherry blossoms out my office window right now because it's almost April here in Seattle. So the contents, forward introduction, obviously. Kaiseki courses, spring, summer, fall, winter. About dashi, basic recipes, recipes. I love Japanese seasonal cooking. And I like to cook things that are in season, in spring. So here's Kaiseki courses, and I might have to put my glasses on to read this tiny print. And of course, I don't have them. I do have them, and they match my shirt. Ha <laughs> uh, I want to see what these courses are. I'm feeling like, okay, the first course, yeah, it's kind of like tapas, because you get lots of little plates making hell for the poor person washing dishes back in the kitchen. The first course is sakizuki. It's the equivalent of an amuse-gul in French cuisine. The second course, hasun, sets the seasonal theme and consists of one kind of sushi and five or six small side dishes, sometimes served in the middle courses. Whoa! The third course, mukozuki, is usually an atsu curry or sliced dish of seasonal sashimi. So I would be screwed because I'm vegetarian. I would sit there and watch my friends eating. That's fine. That'd be fun. The next course is takiyawase, a medley of vegetables and fish, meat or tofu, simmered separately. The next course is futamono, a substantial dish, usually nimono wan, often a hearty soup, but not always. Futamono means a lidded dish. Oh, okay. The next course, yakimono, is usually a broiled seasonal fish. Sometimes tofu, bamboo shoots, or eggplant are served as yakimono. Then, suzakana, is served to refresh the palate. It's usually comprised of crisply, tex crisply textured vegetables and wild plants in a mildly sour vinegar dressing. Then, hayashi baki, a chilled dish served only during summer made of assorted simmered vegetables. Nako choco is the next one, another palate refresher, a very light dish such as tomato, nosuri, nagasabi, nagaspi, chilled tomato soup. Shizakana is the next one. In restaurant kaiseki courses, the shizakana could be assorted, simmered, dressed, or hot pot dishes. Then goban, or gobin, I don't know how to say that, cooked rice with seasonal ingredients or mixed sushi. Then konomono, seasonal home pickled vegetables, for example, rapini in spring, cucumber, eggplant in summer, etc. Tomiwan, soup served with rice and konomono, traditionally a miso-based soup but now is often a seasonal vegetable potage. And then finally, whew, Mizumono, a seasonal dessert chosen from among nostalgic sweets, Japanese confections, and original ice creams or cakes. Wow, that would be quite a dinner. It seems like that would take hours and hours and hours to sit there and eat it, much less the preparation. So we won't look through the entire book, but I want to get some little ideas. Hidden Ume. <gasps> Beautiful, April. Hassan, oh, small octopus, broad beans, broiled squid, butterfly Chinese yams, sea bream and sushi. Oh, look at that beautiful presentation. And it's probably just a bite or two, but it looks so pretty that you feel fuller than you would be. This is steamed wakasa tile fish with cherry blossoms. I forgot that cherry blossoms are edible. This is vinegar to firefly squid and wild vegetables. Nothing I will personally ever eat. Here's sashimi, red sea bream. Is that from the cover? Yeah, pretty close. So let's skip ahead a little, because we don't, oh, that's interesting presentation. Sea bream sushi wrapped in bamboo leaves. I'm getting the idea that this restaurant would be incredibly expensive to eat at. Mm -hmm. Here's tile fish grilled with sea urchin roe. That way you have extra fish with your fish. Ooh. Baked bamboo shoots. I didn't know you could bake them. That sounds good. Okay. I'm scooching forward steamed tile fish with fresh green tea leaves. Let's keep going. Ooh, now we're in summer. I'm going to 
choose just a couple things to talk about. Green Japanese plums in white wine. Chilled summer vegetables. Okay. Um, what else should we look at? Grilled ayu. Like, not my thing. Abalone in a salt dome. This is very inventive. Pickle sushi. That's very cute. I would eat that up. Now, I don't... Oh, harvest soup. I think I skipped ahead to autumn. Excuse me. Sashimi, yellowtail. Ooh, some fish pictures. Steamed matsu take teapot. A tile fish steamed with millet. Now, notice that these pages are just talking about the foods they serve. They're not actual recipes because the recipes are in the back, but they're definitely giving you ideas of things to serve, like planked barracuda. Oh, have a no thank you helping. <laughs> Duck grilled on a magnolia leaf. That's pretty stunning. Wow. And let's keep going. Fall. Oh, now we're in winter. We'll look at a couple things before we end this look through. January Hassoon. Yes, January is winter. Duck hot pot, fried EB emo with two kinds of crust. Um, sea eel with rice. Whole bunch of delicious looking things in little cups. Fatty tuna. Papal Papalote of Pompano. Not sure what that is. Don't mind looking like an idiot explaining that. Now we get to the recipes, which seem pretty brief, like steam this fish. Wow, that was a cookbook unlike any other I've ever seen. I hope you enjoyed looking through it. I'm sure your local library has a copy. Wow, let me know what you thought of that. I'm going to return it to the library tomorrow because I'm vegetarian and don't eat fish, so I want to get this available for people that do to be able to look through it. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs, follow Cookbook Divas. We have a website. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!